hope you're all fine welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and thank you for your support i really appreciate you much if you are a returning subscriber but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you will always enjoy every content that i upload so dear friends today's video is going to be a i know you already know <laughs> story time today's video is going to be a story time of an afro latina girl 29 years of age a single mother by the name of Maria, the country to be precise called Colombia, South America, who found love on online dating apps within one month and then happened what happened that I'm going to be sharing with you in today's story. But right now, living in America since 2018, I've known Maria for quite some time now. I think it's about a year now, but I didn't know much about Maria. I only knew she has a baby <laughs> and she's dating an Italian guy. And that is the reason she came across my channel on YouTube then contacted me on Instagram we started talking I started giving her advice yes guys so I didn't know much until I decided to ask her to share with us her love story that is when guys I was shocked I want to tell you the truth you know I always be honest with you when I got her story I cried I know right now you're saying so Bella you are that weak <laughs> guys it's not all about being weak but it's called human I cried due to all that happened to Maria in her journey to find love but guys I don't want you to be sad <laughs> you know my stories are always interesting so prepare yourself to learn prepare yourself to cry and laugh at the same time <laughs> so you ladies who are on online dating apps searching for love if you know you are here watching this story count yourself very lucky because today's story is a real deal for you who is on online dating apps yes guys trust me i'm repeating this because i know what is about to come <laughs> but without forgetting you beautiful subscribers who always enjoy my story times you will enjoy this story a lot so without wasting much of your time let us start this video right now dear friends because i've told you that maria has a baby it will be good for us to know what was maria's love relationship past experience <laughs> before joining online dating apps we need to gossip a bit <laughs> Was she dating a guy from Colombia? And if yes, how was it like? Or oh, she was dating an American guy? Cause I've told you she is living in America since 2018. So let's find out guys. <laughs> <laughs> Maria tells us that she fell in love at the age of 15 for the first time with an older guy, a guy who was 15 years older than her. Oh my God, she was very, very young. And please, I beg you not to judge Maria because everyone have got their own journey. And I'm doing this to inspire you guys. You are not the only one who is going through a lot of challenges in your journey to find love. So this is is to inspire you to give you energy to keep on moving maria fell in love for the first time with that guy who was 15 years older than her maria saw everything in that guy saw a husband material saw a guy who will marry her in the future saw a father saw a partner guys i mean everything <laughs> Because she used to dream a lot. She is a romantic lady, guys. And as I continue with the story, you will understand why I'm saying that Maria is a romantic girl. <laughs> so, guys, they stayed two years and a half in that relationship. And at the age of 17, Maria got pregnant. Oh my God, I cannot imagine myself getting pregnant at that young age. But yes, it is what it is. Maria got pregnant. And when this guy found out that Maria was pregnant, do you know what happened? Do you know what he did? This guy left her 
abandoned her and never supported her not even financially or that emotional help no he abandoned her completely maria was alone and she tells us that she suffered a lot she got a lot of psychological problems and i can understand guys remember she is very young and when you get pregnant your body changes you go through a lot of emotional problems psychological problems so that is why she was destroyed guys she suffered a lot in that period when this guy abandoned her the guy that she thought he was everything to her so guys we know when you get pregnant at the end you have to give birth <laughs> so that is what exactly happened she gave birth to a very beautiful baby girl with no help of a man that got her pregnant but by the help of her mother thank god guys so guys after maria having her kid thought that no man will ever give her that fertile romance that she used to dream growing up seeing in disney and on tvs in general due to all that happened guys with this man that got her pregnant and abandoned her it is very very sad so it took her two years to settle down put her life together and at the age of 21 she was ready to fall in love again but she tells us that at the college where she used to go no man attracted her even in her neighborhoods no man really caught her attention because at that age she knew what she wanted in a man she's 21 guys <laughs> and a bit mature so because no man attracted her at the college and no man attracted her in her neighborhoods she decided to join online dating world but she did not join immediately the dating sites no she first joined a website called coach surfing this website was all about if you want to travel on a small budget <laughs> guys today you're going to hear the things that you have never heard in your life <laughs> i know especially you my fellow black african ladies <laughs> we are getting a really really new experience and that is why i really love their real talks <laughs> so let's continue guys about coach surfing so this surf coaching website was all about if you want to travel on a small budget meet new people and maybe fall in love then you join that website look for someone who'll give you a room or a coach to stay while you are in that country and because maria wanted to meet new people and maybe fall in love decided to join that website and she met very very wonderful people she tells us that she met a guy from israel and they started dating <laughs> everything went very very well for a while but in the end it could not work they ended that relationship and remained friends till now so after that relationship with a guy from israel ended she decided to join another website and she just found out recently that that website was a dating app <laughs> so the website was called travel girls this website was all about or is all about ladies who want to travel with men to different countries so men join that dating site <laughs> to find ladies to travel with all around the world so when i heard of this i started laughing guys <laughs> And the reason why I started laughing, it's because you find guys on Afro introduction on these serious, serious dating apps who wants to go to Africa for an adventure just to have company with a girl and stay on Afro introduction, pretend that he wants a serious relationship, lie to a girl, waste her time and goes to Africa, take the goodies, enjoy, have an adventure, when he returns, abandons her, block her. So I was like, why can these guys join Travel Girls? Cause it is the right place for them to be. At least you're there, you know what these men are after. <laughs> yeah, if love happens, 
it's okay. So Maria joined Travel Girls and after joining Travel Girls, she found a guy from France, a French guy. <laughs> and I'm not surprised guys, I told you guys, French men are so good at adventures. <laughs> He will take your goodies and be like, I am just having an adventure, you know? I want to know how it feels to take black goodies. <laughs> Yes, all after adventure. So she found this French guy and they started traveling to different countries. In fact, she tells us that they used to see each other two times a month in different countries. <laughs> yeah, this is all about travel girls and their relationship continued like that for a while. But again, guys, Maria tells us deep inside her heart yes she was ready to try again you know fall in love but inside her heart still had scars of the first guy and that really brought her down because she couldn't love a guy like you know you give the guy full full love no she was still hurt she decided to end that relationship with a french guy so dear friends 2015 when maria was 22 joined another dating app and met a guy from her country Colombia. She dated this guy, but again, it couldn't work. I've told you that Maria still have not moved on from what happened in her past relationship. This is so, so sad to hear, guys. Very, very sad. But what can we do? It is what it is. Yes. Maria again joined another dating app. And this dating app, guys, I'm not going to mention it right now, but I will mention it later because it is the same, same app where she found the one. Should I call him the one? I don't know. <laughs> we will know, guys. We are going to find out. <laughs> so she joined that dating app after chatting for a while with different men, came across a guy from America. An American guy <laughs> yeah she told us this American guy had everything that Maria ever wanted in a man he was a full package <laughs> the guy was simply amazing very very perfect to an extent that sometimes Maria could be like is this for real <laughs> Because no one is perfect like that. Those are Maria's words. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, they started dating. Everything went very, very well. The guy was amazing. Like I am telling you, <laughs> was treating Maria very well, spoiling her, sending her some money while in Colombia. Remember, they have not met yet. <laughs> Yeah, so they were still in a long distance relationship, but they did not chat for so long till this American guy wanted to go to Colombia, meet Maria for the first time. When Maria had the news that the guy was going to Colombia to meet her, she was over the moon, guys. Remember, Maria is a romantic lady. <laughs> yes this american guy went to colombia to meet maria when maria met him was very very happy everything was good guys very very good you know when you are in a relationship and you feel loved you feel like this guy is the one <laughs> due to how this guy was because he was very very romantic he was perfect <laughs> That is why Maria used to be like, I don't know if he is for real because no one is perfect like that. And due to the stories that I have been telling you guys, we have seen couples fighting. <laughs> yes, they're in love, but sometimes due to cultural differences, they fight. But this couple, Maria and the American guy, never fought. <laughs> that is why she said he was so perfect. Too good to be true. <laughs> so after this American guy staying for a week in Colombia with Maria, it was time for him to return to America. <laughs> then this guy asked Maria, I want to go with you to America. 
what do you think please pack your bags and let's go together because i am so so in love with you i cannot live without you when maria had that she stated because she tells us that never imagined to leave her kid and her mother that soon <laughs> but unfortunately at that time maria's life was a hot mess because she was going through a crisis she had lost her job she had bills to pay she has a baby to give a future so you can see how maria's life was really in a mess she tells us that her life at that moment did not mean anything in colombia she thought about it and was like oh my god i've hit the jackpot <laughs> this is the opportunity to grab so that i can help my mother and i can help my kid maybe bring her to america one day because she couldn't go with her kid right away so she had to say goodbye to her kid and the mother she tells us that at that moment they did not understand anything but maria either did not understand what she was going to put herself into only that she knew she had hit the jackpot the american dream guys <laughs> was like my girl is going to have a very good future with full of opportunities so i want you to tell me in the comments below what do you think do you think maria had hit the jackpot like the way she imagined <laughs> or what do you think will happen when they reach to america is everything going to be simply amazing like the way this guy is treating maria in colombia all things are gonna change <laughs> let's find out guys but before that let's take a little break i want to take some water <laughs> so dear friends maria left with this guy to america and when they arrived in america everything continued to be very good this guy treating maria very well promising her lots of things and after one month guys in america this guy proposed oh my god it was a very happiest day in maria's life very very happy so after proposing they started planning for the wedding maria was so excited about the wedding and they got married she tells us that they did something very small not a very big ceremony it was a small ceremony nothing fancy with few friends and family of the husband and she tells us that she was okay with that small ceremony she did not want something big or a bigger ceremony that she couldn't share with her family her mother and her daughter <laughs> yeah so that is why she accepted to have something small so guys something that is very very sad maria tells us that that day that was supposed to be a happiest day in her life she signed a horrible fate how was it a horrible fate guys let's find out so friends after the wedding this guy started changing completely he became a different man not the man that maria saw in colombia totally a different man this guy started mistreating maria started hitting her started cheating on her in fact this guy was a narcissist who wanted a slave not a wife this is very very sad maria cried a lot blamed herself not to read the red flags she tells us that when that opportunity to come with this guy in america and get married came to her she saw it as a very big opportunity because of her situation that she was going through and thought if i don't grab this opportunity it is going to end or I might end up lonely in the future, alone without a husband. So that is why she accepted to marry this guy without knowing him. But that was her greatest mistake. So from these guys, Maria gives you 
and advice you ladies who are on online dating apps searching that is why i've told you if you are here watching this story you are lucky because we don't find these stories everywhere <laughs> or we don't find them every day yeah so it is special to be here guys <laughs> so maria gives an advice to you ladies who are on online dating apps searching for the one to not be in a hurry please take your time to know a guy very well before you get married to him before you move to his country especially if that country the language they speak is not your first language because when maria went to america did not know how to speak english and that was a very very big problem for her she suffered in that marriage couldn't ask help from anyone because she didn't speak english and she's telling you if you're going to a country where the language they speak is not your first language then get to know a guy very very well so that you don't find yourself in trouble and i am adding on this please don't allow a man to stress you tell you i want to marry you very fast let's get married very fast he doesn't want to give you time to get to know him he doesn't want to give you time to clarify things that you would like to clarify before you get married to him do not allow him get to know a guy very well take your time because girl this is about your life <laughs> if problems happens it's you who is going to suffer not this guy so it is good to take your time it is good to get to know a guy this reminds me of a girl i was helping recently she started chatting with a guy this guy was promising her the world telling her that you should leave your job she's working in the gulf countries and i will send you six months of your salary pay you even double it <laughs> go back to your country so that i can come and marry you we go together in my country this girl was very clever went on google searched this guy's name and guess what popped up this guy was charged of human smuggling in the u.s can you imagine guys and then wanted to stress this poor lady to get married to him take her and when they arrive in his country do what he wants to do i don't know what could have happened to that girl so ladies be very very careful take your time this is an advice from maria and my advice too as your beloved sister who loves you so much <laughs> so let's go back to maria's story so friends maria suffered so much in that marriage and in the end she was able to get her divorce after getting her divorce brought her daughter to the u.s found a job settled down she tells us that right now she has everything that she ever wanted in life so after settling down she has everything was missing something i've told you maria is a romantic lady you know a lady who always dream of those romantic things with her man yeah that's maria <laughs> so was missing a man by her side and decided to join again the dating app <laughs> same same dating app where she found the husband will maria find real love in that dating app or it is going to happen same same things i don't know guys let's continue with the story so friends nine months after all that happened to maria maria was ready to find love again joined that dating app like i said and set her profile the location she put italy the reason why she put italy as the location on that dating app on her profile is because maria was learning italian and maria is a girl who likes learning different languages <laughs> so because she was learning italian and maria loves italy everything about italy the culture italian passion italian food <laughs> she tells us that italian language kills her softly <laughs> places in italy she loves italy this girl is crazily in love with italy guys <laughs> so after setting her profile started chatting with different men bunch of men guys and later on came to realize that 
most of them were players they were not serious another thing that is very funny maria told me that when she set her profile on that dating app received a thousand likes she was like oh my god i'm that hot <laughs> i didn't know <laughs> but to be honest maria is so so beautiful so in one month before the month ended <laughs> she was about to delete her profile on that dating app and that's when she got a message from a guy by the name of Alex, an Italian guy. <laughs> so Maria tells us that Alex's message were very beautiful, very decent, very respectful. Alex was super, super cute. When she could look at Alex's photos, she could be like, wow. <laughs> This guy is so cute. He was 30 years of age, single guys, never married. <laughs> A very young guy. So started chatting with Maria on that dating app, but Maria was a bit scared. <laughs> <laughs> thought that maybe Alex was trying to catfish her. <laughs> He's one of those Italian fat old men <laughs> who are pretending to be 30. <laughs> so told Alex, please, I want to see more of your photos. Can we please exchange WhatsApp numbers? They exchanged WhatsApp numbers and Alex started sending photos to Maria. Maria when could look at Alex's photos, oh my god, her hands could sweat <laughs> and be like, ah, oh, I wish this guy could be mine. I wish he is real. <laughs> and that pushed her to tell Alex, let's make a video call so that she can confirm if those photos were real. <laughs> He's a real guy. So Alex did not say no. He said yes. Let's make a video call. So they made a video call and he was real, guys. <laughs> Maria tells us that as they were talking, while talking, she was so excited looking at him and admiring him. <laughs> so they kept on chatting, their feelings growing strong and stronger every day towards each other <laughs> you could talk for long long hours guys in a day <laughs> and guess how many hours they could talk three hours in a day every day three hours they could talk on a video call <laughs> despite their time differences they were so crazily in love with each other maria tells us that that time was her favorite time of the day the time that she could be talking to alex it was her happy hour so they talked about lots of things hobbies everything guys about life and after talking for a while, they decided it is time to plan when to meet. <laughs> it is time to plan when to meet. So they talked and set a date. Maria says she could not see that time coming. <laughs> it looked like forever. This was last year and she was supposed to come to Italy <laughs> this year, August. I remember Maria writing me, telling me, Bella, I cannot wait for August next year to meet Alex for the first time. She was very, very excited, started dreaming. I told you ladies how we always dream with these men that we meet on online dating apps. So this too happened to Maria. She dreamt a lot. <laughs> So guys, I want to go back a little bit about talking for three hours. These people used to talk on a video call for three hours, but to add on that, they used to sex talk. Yes, they could even do online sex. Yes every time that they talk to the extent when maria told me about it i was like be very careful i don't want this guy to be calling you every day just because he is looking for that she was like no bella but you know i enjoy it and he enjoys it i love 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 <laughs> and my boyfriend too loves it so due to the respect that i had for her 
I had no choice than to agree with her because if it makes you happy, that's your life. Guys, for me, I always give you advice. I can't just interfere in your life and be forcing you. Don't do this. Don't do this. No, if it makes you happy, it's okay. But continue to listen to this story and you will understand why I've been always telling you not to do that. Yes, <laughs> the online thing here. So guys, time went by and it was time for Maria to start planning for the trip to come to Italy. So she was looking for the flight ticket and talked to Alex. Alex told her that I want to pay half of your ticket to come visit here in Italy. You will also stay at my place so that you don't have to pay for the hotel room. That was so, so good of Alex. I told Maria, this means a lot if this guy has offered to pay half of your ticket. She told me, Bella, his salary is more smaller than mine. So I told him, don't worry, keep that money we are going to use that money when I come to Italy, when visiting different places, you know, tourist places. When it remained one week for Maria to come to Italy, she was so, so excited. She could tell me I'm so nervous. Finally, I'm going to meet Alex for the first time. <laughs> and I told her I can't wait to see you in Italy. So dear, beautiful ladies, the day for Maria to come arrived and Maria came when arrived at the airport. Oh my God, Alex was there with his mother waiting for Maria. <laughs> that was so, so good. She was so, so happy when she saw Alex. Alex introduced her to his mother. She tells us that they couldn't stop hugging and kissing all the time. It's like they had known each other <laughs> for so long. So after the airport, Alex took Maria to his family, introduced Maria to the father. So Maria met Alex's mother and father on her first day in Italy. In fact, in their house <laughs> she tells us that they were very loving people a very beautiful family the way they treated her it's like they had known her for their lifetime <laughs> not only they opened the doors of their house for maria but they opened their hearts to maria she tells us no man has ever done such a thing to her and she really appreciated that so guys, they stayed together and after three days, the devil is the liar, guys. Alex got sick, he had fever and this fever really lasted for a week and Maria's stay was for two weeks. So during all that time, the romantic dinners that Maria dreamt of, visiting different places in Italy, she was like, I cannot believe I am leaving Italy without seeing the beautiful places in the world that everyone wants to see. I've been here for a week, but all this time I've been taking care of my boyfriend cause he had fever and we couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't leave him at home and go see beautiful places. Of course, that makes sense guys. So her trip did not go all that well for one week. But she was like, at least we are together. So you can see, guys, sometimes we plan things this way. They turn to be differently. So, yeah. guys, after one week, do you know what I'm about to tell you? <laughs> I know you know the goodies. <laughs> Did she give her goodies to Alex? <laughs> yes, guys. After one week, Maria gave her goodies to Alex. She was so happy to give her goodies after all that time of waiting. <laughs> it went super, super good. And then this happened. Get ready, guys. So Maria's ex-husband 
I don't know, Maria don't know either, who gave him Alex's phone numbers. He started communicating to Alex, but thank God Maria had told Alex everything about the ex-husband, so it wasn't a big deal. Alex did not make it a big deal, so Maria asked Alex, to block the ex-husband but alex did not block him so what maria did so what maria did took alex's phone when he was sleeping and blocked the ex-husband after blocking the ex-husband she got that like push you know that energy that is pushing you to check alex's phone if she can find something guys that was the worst worst decision to do but i also thank god she did it and do you know what she found out hmm you are going to get shocked guys by this you will surely get shocked but before that i want to take you again a little bit back when they were still chatting at the time maria was in america one day maria wanted alex to screenshot something and send it to her so when alex screenshotted that and sent it to maria maria saw a logo of that dating app where they met on alex's phone so she was like are you still on that dating app and they were chatting for a year guys <laughs> on whatsapp the guy was like no i logged off and i'm not logged in it is only the notifications that comes into my email they come as an email but it's not that i am logged in so let's go back to present <laughs> when maria took the phone maria came to find out that Three days before arriving in Italy, Alex was still on that dating app where they met on. But to make matters worse, he was not chatting with ladies. He wasn't chatting with ladies. This guy was chatting with trans ladies. I don't have anything against trans ladies but hey you go chat with trans ladies that shows that you have no interest in me and why stay on a dating app whereby we have been chatting for a year i know you are my boyfriend everything that you have done till now shows that you are my boyfriend and then again stay on the dating app so maria got so shocked she was like oh my god what am i seeing Another thing that Maria saw is that this guy used to play with his eggplant, I know you understand me, and send these videos to those trans ladies. He was telling these trans ladies how he can't wait to make love to them. Can you imagine guys? Maria cried so much and asked Alex, what is this? Alex was like, you know, three days before you came here, we were nothing. We are not girlfriend and boyfriend, but we used to do online. Can you imagine, guys? So all this while, there was no relationship between them. That is what Alex said. He said, our relationship became real when I saw you. Doesn't mean anything because I was still free. Also, if you don't believe me, you can go. Don't think I'm going to run after you. A guy that you sacrificed your vacation. Oh my goodness. Stay with him. Take care of him. All this while, she told me, Bella, I've spent a lot on this trip. Came with a full suitcase of gifts of this guy. <laughs> oh my god i am laughing it's not that i am happy it is something that is very very sad i've cried so much with this girl when i got her story i cried a lot that day she called me she was crying guys telling me bella i think god created me to stay single i don't deserve to stay with anyone and what makes me so so sad alex has made the same same things that the men that i met in the past did same same things i really felt very very sorry for maria i told her maria 
don't worry you can still find love right now you are so so angry at yourself she said yes i'm so angry at myself to be so naive and desperate believe in this guy i told her you need to calm down and once everything is over you will find out where you did the mistakes and through that it will help you find the right guy because you want to repeat the same mistakes when you get to know another guy she was like bella i don't think i will ever be ready to fall in love again this is the end i have closed like closed completely on love so we talked and i remember as i was talking to her <laughs> at the time she called me she was crying but before ending the call she was laughing and told me she's going to leave the same same day go see another friend that lives in another different city from alex's home i also told her if you feel like you want to come where i live you can come there is no problem you are welcome she said thank you so much bella i am so so happy to have you you are so kind you know she was really really happy but i was more happy that at least i heard her laughing on the phone not like how she called me crying so when i talked to maria it was the morning hours i think around 12 in the morning and at night i remember around 10 at night she wrote me a message she was like you are not going to believe <laughs> and i know you who are watching this video you're going to get angry at maria yes i know <laughs> but please do not judge her she is in love <laughs> maria sent me a message telling me bella i am still here and after talking to you alex came to me talked to me told me that he is really sorry those are only his fantasies he never practiced them and he is not going to practice them because <laughs> he loves me he wants to stay with me so i forgave him and after forgiving him we made love this girl gave her goodies again <laughs> oh my god i remember writing like god because that was a shock to me but again i'm telling you maria is in love so after that i was like you know what girl follow your happiness if it makes you happy you think his excuse is genuine go ahead keep on with your relationship so they continued like that and after three days maria contacted me again and was like bella i feel so sad i feel horrible i feel depressed i feel very frustrated sometimes i was like why alex doesn't give me compliments he does not do you know those romantic things a guy does to a lady i don't know what is happening bella i don't know everything i have to ask him i'm becoming a man and a woman in this relationship and it does not make me happy and another thing guys that is a red flag alex never asked to take photos with maria and when maria takes photos with him <laughs> He never asked Maria to send him those photos. That is a very, very big red flag that someone is not interested in you. Never ignore that. So after talking to her, it ended like that. I left the decisions in her hands. <laughs> yes, so what she told me was another shock. A shock after shock. So she went again on this guy's phone and found that this guy was in another dating website but that website guys oh my god please please ask men what are their sex fantasies it is very very important that website i went to read by myself to see what it is all about it is all about if you want to exchange couples it is all about it is all about gay it is all about trans it is oh my god guys things that you can even never imagine if you want singles to make in the car with you can find them so this guy had a profile in that dating app and guess what are his profile photos 
the eggplant he is eggplant guys standing like this <laughs> i saw it guys i was like oh my god i'm collapsing of what i'm seeing <laughs> this online dating thing is full of strange strange people be very very careful no matter how you want a man in your life please never ignore the red flags take your time be careful and alex in his description saying that he is ready to make love both sides can you imagine this lady has suffered so she was like bella i am done i mean it i am done right now i feel very very horrible about myself i was like sweetheart you need to leave this guy you have tried enough and this guy will never change because these fantasies keep on increasing today it is this tomorrow this tomorrow that this guy will continue like that so i told maria i don't see future there please you need to move on and she was like yes girl it is time to move on but i don't know how i told her you should try your best to leave this guy detach yourself completely try to heal Take your time as much as you can and when you are ready, contact me. We are going to talk and see how to go about it. So that is how it went guys. It went super, super bad. So guys, I know you have been like Bella. We want only success stories. Through these stories that fails, you learn a lot of things. You see all these things that you have heard in this video. <laughs> have taught you a lot i insist again do not do online with a guy because that was the first first red flag maria was supposed to do i repeat a man who respects you a man who respects himself will never tell you to do online sex play with his eggplant in the name of love no guys he will never if you see that you know the guy is just a player so this guy yes he might have given maria a thousand euros but it was out of his own fantasies he wanted maybe you know to try out something new so dear beautiful ladies my videos can be long but i really hope you enjoyed this video you learned something if you did please give it a thumbs up share it to their friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this story and learn something <laughs> comment below what you think about this story i would really really like to know please write those encouraging words to maria because right now it is all that she needs let's not judge her <laughs> watch my other videos too they are super good you're going to learn a lot of things guys <laughs> subscribe if you have not subscribed you are always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao